In this lesson, I want to give you a basic introduction into scientific notation. Scientific notation is a useful way to represent very large numbers or very small numbers. So, let's say if we have the number 45,000. How can we express this number in scientific notation? Now, you want to move the decimal in between the first two numbers, that is between the 4 and 5. So I'm going to move it 4 units to the left. One, two, three, four. So 45,000 is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the 4. Now it's important to understand that if this number is positive, it's associated with a very large number. If this is a negative exponent, it will be associated with a very small number, a number between 0 and 1. So let's work on some more examples. Try these two examples. Actually, maybe more than two. Let's say 3750, 580,000, 72 million, and let's say 9.3 billion. Go ahead and convert these numbers into scientific notation. Feel free to pause the video. So let's start with this one. I'm going to put the decimal between the 3 and the 7. So this is 1, 2, 3. Since I moved it 3 spaces to the left, this is going to be 3.75 times 10 to the third power. And that's pretty straightforward. Now let's move on to the next one. So I want the decimal point to be between the 5 and the 8. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the left. So therefore, this is going to be 5.8 times 10 to the 5. Now for the next example, I want it to be between the 7 and the 2. So this is going to be, this is 3, 6, and then 7. So I moved it 7 spaces to the left. So it's going to be 7.2 times 10 to the 7. Uh, and that's it for that one. Now for the last one, I'm going to start here. 3, 6, 9 units to the left. So this is going to be 9.3 times 10 to the 9th power. And that's a simple way to express very large numbers using scientific notation. Now what about some small numbers? For example, 0 0.0023. We still want the decimal to be between the 2 and the 3. But this time, I'm going to move it to the right as opposed to the left. So I need to move it three spaces to the right. So therefore this is going to be 2.3 times 10 to the negative 3. Now keep in mind a negative exponent will always be associated with very small numbers. A positive exponent will be associated with very large numbers. Here's some more examples that you can try. So go ahead and try those examples. So this is 3, 4 units. So this is going to be 7.6 times 10 to the negative 4. So anytime you have these decimal values, it's going to have a negative exponent associated with the scientific notation number. So for this one, I've got to move it 2 units to the right. And so that's going to be 4.9 times 10 to the minus 2. Now for the third example, this is 3, 6, 7. Actually, not that far. I need it to be between the first two numbers, so 3 and 6. So this is going to be 5.41 times 10 to the negative 6. This is 3, 6, 9, and then 10 units to the right. So this is going to equal 8.35 times 10 to the negative 10. And so now you know how to convert a number in decimal notation or standard notation into scientific notation. Now let's switch it up a bit. Let's work on converting a number from scientific notation to standard notation. So let's say if we have 2.4 times 10 to the 2. 
what is this equal to? Now, keep in mind that we said that if we have a positive exponent, it will be associated with a larger number. So we need to increase the value of 2.4. So should we move the decimal to the right or to the left? To increase the value, we need to move it to the right. So we have the number 2.4. And let's add some zeros to it. So we're going to move it two units to the right. So therefore, this is going to change to 240. And that's the answer. Now, if you think about what this expression means, 10 squared, that's 10 times 10, which is 100. So this really means 2.4 times 100, which is 240. And so you could see it that way if you want to as well. Let's try this example, 3.56 times 10 to the third power. So we need to move the decimal three units to the right. So this is 1, 2, 3. So we need to add another 0. So therefore, this is going to be 3,560. So 10 to the third means that, well, 10 times 10 times 10, that's 1,000 with three zeros. And 3.56 times 1,000 is 3,560. Go ahead and try these two examples. 4.27 times 10 to the 5, and also 3.96 times 10 to the 7. So let's start with this one, 4.27. Let's move the decimal point 5 units to the right. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to add 3 zeros. So this is going to be 4, 2, 7, 0, 0, 0 or 427,000. 10 to the fifth is basically 100,000. So 100,000 times uh, 4.27, that's 427,000. Now let's try this one. So we have 3.96, and we need to move the decimal point seven units to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so we need to add five zeros. So the answer is going to be 3960000. Zero, 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 zero. So that's 39,600,000. Now let's work on some examples with negative exponents. So a negative exponent is going to be associated with a small number. So this time we need to move to the left. So let's move three spaces to the left. One, two, three. So we need to add two zeros. So therefore, this is going to be 0 0.0037. Let's try this example. 4.16 times 10 to the negative 5. So we need to move five spaces to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be 0 0.0000416. Now let's work on a mixed review. Go ahead and convert the following numbers into scientific notation. Let's see if you remember how to do this. So the first one is a small number, so it's going to be associated with a negative exponent. We need to move the decimal point between the 7 and the 3, between the first two non-zero numbers. So since we move it 3 units to the right, it's going to be 7.35 times 10 to negative 3. Now let's move on to the next example. We have a large number, and we need to put the decimal between the first two non-zero numbers, between the 3 and 6. So we're going to move it 3, 4, 5 spaces to the left. So this is going to be 3.64 times 10 to the positive 5, since we have a large number. Now the next example is a small number, and we only need to move it two spaces to the left. So this is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2. And for the last example, we have a large number, and we're going to move it three spaces to the left. So this is going to be 2.8 times 10 to the 3. So keep that in mind. Anytime you have positive exponents, it always will be associated with large numbers. And small numbers that are between 0 and 1 are associated with negative exponents.
That will help you to determine which direction you need to move the decimal point. So let's try some more examples. 1.8 times 10 to the minus 3, 4.1 times 10 to the 2, 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5, and 2.7 times 10 to the 4. So let's convert this to standard notation. So let's start with the first example. Should we move the decimal point to the left or to the right? This is particularly useful if you need to convert it from scientific notation to standard form. Since we have a negative exponent, we need a small number. So we've got to move it to the left. 1, 2, 3. So we're going to fill these spaces with zeros. So therefore, this is going to be 0 0.0018. Now for the next example, we have a positive exponent. So that's associated with a large number. Therefore, we need to move the decimal point to the right, two spaces. So we're going to add a 0 here. Therefore, that's going to be 410. Now for the next example, we need to move it to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, that's going to be 0 0.00. 0, 0, 1, 2. And for the last one, we need to move it to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And so that's going to be 27,000. So hopefully this video gave you a good introduction into scientific notation and how to convert back and forth into standard notation. So thanks again for watching.